understand. I don't even like it when people are late. This is important. She's on the way. I've told you, he'll be here. I don't know why keen on dealing with companies, I can tell you. Well, are you not? No, I'm not. Well, why don't you soften, Keith, eh? I'm just saying. We don't, all right? Keep that kind of shine to yourself. Unless you want to tell him yourself. No. Right then, button it. Evening, chaps. Sorry I'm late. Got a little lost. First time I've been to a place where they built a bypass through the centre of the city. Interesting bit of town planning. We like it. Yeah. Well, figure. Should we get on with it? Fuck your ass, Wendy. Right. Here we go then. Come around. Bloody hell, where'd you get these? That's not. All familiar with Granger Street. Right, of course. Right. So get your burst packs of grub. What about hardware? your friend Spender. Bonsoir. Au revoir. Merci. Why? I want you to go to Marseille. Pick up a naughty boy and bring him back here. So that we can slap his wrists. France. Aren't you the lucky one? When would this... Your flight's booked for tomorrow. Tomorrow? I can't leave tomorrow, sir. Why not? Because I'm bang in the middle of this Ramsden thing. I've arranged for Bob McKenzie to cover for you. All right? No, sir, not really. I've been on this investigation for weeks now. I've put in a lot of sweat. I know that. It's just about to go, and I want to be there and see it through, you know? I mean, can't you just send McKenzie down to France? Your name's on all the documentation, Sergeant. There'll be somebody waiting to meet you at the other end. I don't understand this at all. Playing bloody nursemaid to some... Spender! The naughty boy. It's Tommy Thornton. Now, from what we can gather, after he did his Houdini act on us, he surfaced in the south of France. Got himself involved with a local firm down there. He was arrested in a big trawl, along with an assortment of other lowlife from various parts of the continent. What's he mixed up in? Moving stuff across from North Africa and up through Europe, apparently. 
What kind of things? You name it. Drugs, precious metals, classic cars, illegal immigrants. Anywhere to turn a dishonest penny, huh? Mm, just so. Anyway, all of them nicked, all of them charged, and all of them out on bail. Free to scuttle back under their various rocks and resume their unlawful activities. Surprise, surprise. Except for Thornton. How come? We got lucky. Our warrant showed up on somebody's screen over there. They got in touch with the Home Office, who got in touch with me. And I thought, as you were the officer originally in charge, I wondered if he'd surface again. Thornton. <laughs> I knew he would eventually. You knew? Shit floats. Spender. Thornton's got a lot of friends down there, so it's straight in and out. Yes? Straight in and out, sir. Okay, one last time, please, for me. Dad, man. Please. Angela Hewitt's mum is going to pick up Angela and me and Kate. Angela, Kate and myself. Us. And then we're all going round to their house for our tea. Ugh, it'll be those cakes with fresh cream that's not fresh. And then you're going to pick us up tonight, right? Ten out of ten, right? Now, are you two going to be all right, hmm? Dad, you're going to France for one day. It's really no big deal. Isn't it? Anything from our duty free, sir? No, no.
Excusez-moi, monsieur. I'm looking for an inspector. An inspector Callier. Excusez-moi. An inspector Callier. Callier. Désolé. This extradition order is incomplete. What? There's a page missing. Don't worry, Sergeant. It's not unusual. I'll just have to make some calls. Take a seat. Thank you. Coffee? Uh, no, thank you. Ah, the English and their tea. <laughs> I'm sorry we don't have any, but maybe it's just as well. Hey. Forty-five. You should be okay. And if not, you can stay for a night in Marseille, okay? Not possible, I'm afraid. No. Domestic complications. You've promised to take your wife out to dinner, okay? Something like that. Something like that. My wife is dead. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. Forget it. C'est pas possible de manger tout fait pour cinq jours. Il faut attendre au moins le week-end, la semaine prochaine peut-être encore. Il nous emmerde, puis il va nous faire rater le match. Well, we have a mistake. Our justice department in Paris received all the necessary authorization from your government, but unfortunately, they haven't sent it all down to us. Can that be done today? This sort of thing takes time. Could be another week, maybe. Look, sir, I've come a long way today. I'd appreciate it if you could give a little, you know? Il demande un coup de pouce parce qu'il dit qu'il a fait un long voyage. Oh, mais ça fait trois jours que je suis là-dessus. C'est pas possible. Je suis débordé. J'ai pas que ça à faire. J'essaye, quoi. J'essaye. I mean, can't you have them fax the missing page through to you here? Cela n'a pas de tort. Est-ce qu'on peut pas recevoir un fax de cette? Euh, le commissaire, j'ai un ami au palais de justice. Je vais lui passer un coup de fil. Borca has a friend in the palais de justice. So let's see. Maybe. Faxer l'autorisation tout de suite. Non. Non, mais c'est pas possible. Ah, qui t'a parlé au président, non Ouais, quelque chose en genre. <rire> It's happening right now. Better thing Broca. Hein? It's your first time over in France, Sergeant. No, I had a weekend in Paris a long time ago. Did you have a nice time Oh, it was... It was a long time ago. Yes, sorry. Of my wife, then. Don't ask me. What? All over between you two, is it, eh? Oh, what a pity. How about that, then, eh, gentlemen? You know, back in England, 
Back in England, that bastard came to investigate me and ran off with my wife. Well, I heard about your wife. Exploding, wasn't it? Bit radical, that, eh, son? I mean, couldn't you just divorce her like everybody else does? <laughs> If there's nothing else, sir, uh, I'd like to get going. Yeah, me too. Boy, I will go with you to the airport. Bon voyage, Sergeant. Come back and visit us sometime. There's a lot going on in this city of ours. Pour la prochaine sortie. Mais pourquoi Ce sont mes ordres. Je cherche pas à comprendre. Mais merde, y'en a marre de ces bureaucrates. Hein. Who's that? Oh, you're awake at last. Welcome back to the land of the living. You're a lucky lad by all accounts. Big truck. Came around the corner and then. How long have I been in here? Three days. Three days? 
Where's Thornton? Oh, he's dead. Cop for it in the shunt, apparently. Along with the police, what was driving the car? Jesus. How long have you been here? Three days. Well, they reckon you might not wake up. Somebody had to come and hold your hand. Thanks. Well, it wasn't all out the goodness of me at the lake. But there's that itty knicker what you borrowed, remember? Oh, thank you. There's a French policy outside wants a bit chat when your compass meant us. Canny lad, he seems. Well, for a polis like. Me and him's been having a bit natter these past couple of days. Polishing up me France here. Hadn't spoke it since I was expelled. Surprising how quick it comes back, though. I'm surprised they even let you in here. I told them I'd come from the British Embassy. What, and they bought that? What's the truth? I'd went there to find out where the hospital was. I'm, uh, well, I'm glad you're all right, like. All right? All right. Do you want I should give that polis a holler or what? In a minute. God. What? I was supposed to pick the girls up outside the school. Don't worry, it's all sorted. Yeah? I kept it in the mate's gang. Mrs. Uh... Mrs. Hewitt? Yeah. Mind you, a uh, phone call wouldn't go, miss. Right now. Check you a nifty whistle, mate. So, your bone's broken. Well, that's a relief. Dad, you know when you drop us off at school on Monday? Well, I, I wasn't very nice to you. I wasn't, Dad. I just want to say I'm sorry. Angela! What? Hello. <gasps> Here's Kate. Dad? Hi. Fine. Dad? When are you coming home? Soon, sweetheart. In a day or two. I love you, too. Is Mrs. Hewitt there? Can you put her on, love? OK, thanks. Bye. Mrs. Hewitt, hi. I'm fine. I'm as right as rain. Listen, are the girls OK with you for a little while longer? You sure? Thanks. Look, I'll give you a ring as soon as I know what's happening, yeah? OK. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Bye. My daughters, they're fine. That's good. Tell me, Sergeant, why did you say just now, in a day or two? Well, there are certain things that need to be sorted, aren't there? Everything has been sorted, as you say. The driver of the truck has been questioned. It's all done. Finished. What about the guy on the motorbike? Have you tried to trace him? 
Yes, Sergeant, we have. But he was probably riding illegally, so... Well, can't you get some guys out on the street? Get them asking about... Sergeant, you suspect he's dead. Along with one of my officers, yes? Yes, I'm sorry about that. So am I. He had a daughter, too. Anyway, the case is now closed. We spoke with your foreign office while you were in hospital. They're satisfied in all respects. So, with your passport and tickets, there's a flight to London at 7 o'clock this evening. I'd like to see the body if you have no objection. What body? Thornton's. There is no body, Sergeant. After you crashed, the car became an inferno. You were thrown clear along with broke our hair. The others were not so lucky. By the time emergency services arrived at the scene, there was nothing left of the car, or Thornton, or lights. Just some twisted metal and some bones. Thornton was cuffed, yeah? We left this office tied together, arm in arm. If I was thrown clear of the car, how come Thornton's arm wasn't there next to mine? It was there, Sergeant. I'm sorry? Part of it, anyway. The rest and the law for her. Where is the arm now? The arm? Mm -hmm. It was cremated, along with what little there was left from inside the car. Did anybody dust it? Did you take any prints from the arm? Why should we do that, Sergeant? Yeah, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. I better get going, eh? If I'm gonna make that plan. Thanks for the suit. No, yeah. You're gonna be glad to see the bag of me, eh? Au revoir. Au revoir, Sergeant. Au revoir. How are you doing? It's been better. Of course. I'm sorry, what a stupid thing to ask. What are you doing here? Do you want to grab a cup of coffee or something? Well, I'm supposed to sign some papers and stuff, you know? Right. On va juste boire une tasse de café à côté, d'accord? Euh, ne soyez pas trop long, madame Santon, l'inspecteur va m'en finir au plus vite. D'accord?
Thank you. I know the English and their teeth. It's pathetic, really. When did you get to here? Well, they rang me in England the day it happened. Told me about the car crash. I explained to them I was no longer Tommy's wife, but as we were never officially divorced, it felt to me as an extra kin. I was ready to come straight away, but they said it was pointless. Did they tell you that I was in the car along with Tommy? No. Yeah. What happened? I'd come to collect him. Escort him back to Tyneside. We were on our way to the airport. I can't remember much about the crash. There was a guy on a motorbike, and we plowed into a truck. According to the police, it was an accident. According to the police? What did they tell you? Oh, exactly what you've just told me. They wanted to carry out a cremation. So quickly? Mm -hmm. There is a legal obligation in such circumstances, apparently. They asked for my permission. And you gave it? Yeah, why shouldn't I? How's young Paul taking all of this? I'm not sure. He's such a quiet kid. He never says much. Yeah, I remember. Sweet little lad. Where are you living? You over here now? No. No, we're still in England. In the end, I decided to stay. I'm sorry, Janet. I should have rang you or, or got in touch or something. I understood. After what happened to Frances, I didn't expect to hear from you. I'm sorry. You know, I only met her that one time, and she seemed so... Yeah, well, we're both in the same boat now, eh? You got things to do, right? It's okay, I'll get it. Where are you staying? The Hotel Dauphin. That's the phone number. But I'm leaving in a couple of days. I'm leaving right now. Pardon my French pet. <laughs> bye bye. Love. Sorry. Can I see you again, Steve? I don't think so, pet. Okay. Take care. Hey, it's got to be said that your friggin' timing stinks. Bonjour. I'd hardly guess what they're doing for a living, is it? Strong bit of deja vu going on here, though, but...
Passagers à destination de Genève, vol Suissère S48, sont priés de se présenter, porte numéro 23. Dernier appel pour les passagers du vol Air France, AF190, à destination de Londres, porte numéro 17. Allez, dépêchez-vous chéri, il est très important que ces deux messieurs ne ratent pas ce vol. Je le fais aussi vite que possible, monsieur, mais si vous arrivez en retard, ça prend plus de temps. at gate 17. They are waiting for you. Okay. Bonjour, monsieur. Ah, merci. Pas de carte d'accès à bord, non, monsieur Non, je regrette. Something's bothering me about all of this. Bread you carrying? It's got a very grand in French shepherds. Where'd you get all that from? Out of your sock drawer. But just in case of emergencies, I thought. Which, if I'm not mistaken, this is, right? What did I do wrong? No, no, come on. That's how it looks. You're suggesting that Thornton planned an accident in which everyone, including himself, might easily have been killed. Now, why on earth would he do that? I don't know at the moment. I'm going to do a bit of sniffing, see if I can get to find out. Whereabouts are you right now? I'm in a little B&B, &B, the Splendid. Doesn't quite live up to its handle, but it's off the beaten track. Give me a number, Jan. Pencil. Right. I want you to stay put. I'm going to make some calls and I'll get back to you. Are you all right, Stender? I'm fine, sir. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Get me Inspector Callier in Marseille and get me some coffee. Allô. Ah, 
Ah, it's a puzzler, right enough. I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna have a beer. Oh, that reminds me. Is there anywhere around here I can get any wrapping paper, Chief? Wrapping paper. Wrappy, uppy, sticky, tapey. Forget it, Pop. I'll, uh, I'll have myself a wonder. Ah, oh, light. I 
cornered that bastard all the way from Newcastle. I'm pleased you did. So what's occurring here then? It's not room service, I don't know that. Well, this tells me I wasn't imagining things. Come on, we're out of here. What a waste of good beer. Listen to me, Spender, and listen carefully. I want you to telephone the British consulate. They're waiting for your call right now. They're going to send a car to pick you up. The consul will personally accompany you to the airport. There you'll be put on a plane, and then you're out of it. Have you got all that? I'm on about Thornton. Forget about Thornton for the time being. If he's alive, then he'll keep. Right now, I want you on a plane and out of it. Spender. Spender! Why do you bother your ass? Someone's got to do it. OK, I'll accept that, sort of. But why you? Why always you? That's just how it is. What now? I don't know, I'm thinking. Can you not do your thinking standing still? Works better when I'm on the move for some reason. Down there somewhere, aren't you? You bastard. How's your on the move thinking going then? Hasn't worked yet, I'm afraid. What, after that hike? Jesus. Sorry. I can't talk to the local law because they're mixed up in all this. Or at least some of them are. And I can't talk to the local villains because you don't know any. I'm in a foreign land. Someone out there is trying to kill me. And there's nowhere I can go for help. Because I don't know anyone. You don't, kidda. But I do. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, you know. <clears throat> you got any better one? Anyway. She's good as gold, this and not your pet. Her boyfriend's doing seven for armed robbery, so no love lost between her and the fifth. Better not tell her about your dear job, though. Eh? Hey? My mate here. Mon ami, mon colère, guest d'une espèce du investigateur privé. Vous savez Ah, vraiment Oui, je t'aime. Il ressemble à Flick ou moi je ressemble à une dame. On peut toujours être déçu par des apparences. Strange you've not been able to speak any French, isn't it? Haven't been here before, like. No, it's not strange at all. How's it strange? I've been to Canary Islands, but I don't speak bloody Canary. No, I don't know. Give me that bloody hair on, I only said. Well, just leave it, will you? I'm gonna head out. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll see you later.
kaum dikit kita aja. You see, basically, he's a miserable bastard. Although, mind, to be fair to him, he has been under a tremendous amount of pressure just lately. But that's the mark of a man, you know. The way what he reacts when the chips are down. Well, I suppose we could watch a bit of French telly. Hey. <laughs> no. I don't suppose your fella left any of his clobber here, did he? What a clip. <laughs> That's rich coming from you. Coffee? Mm. You've not been to bed yet? I've been thinking. Oh, do you think you can handle that little motorbike? Let me sleep. <clears throat> Why? What's the gig like? I want you to sit on Brocard, that French cop. Follow him everywhere that he goes. We could do it together, eh, yeah, Pet? Maybe. Be a nice bit of afternoon out. Listen, stick. Come here. Come here. No messing about, yeah? If I'm right about this geezer Brocard, he's a life taker. So I don't want you getting too near, okay? Just stick with him, yes? Like merge to a blanket? What are you going to be doing? I'm going to make some calls. A couple more days? That's what you said the last time. No. It's just that... I don't want to stay here, Dad. I want to leave. She's missing her dad! Aren't your pets? I know, darling. I know. But it won't be long now. I promise. Don't be thinking about doing anything, uh, well, silly, Laura, will you? Hmm? Yeah, all right. All right, love. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yes. Where? Yeah. Mm hmm. When? Okay. No, no, it's not a problem. Voilà. 
Bob or Blatchy? Huh? Three bags full. Jesus! What a fright you gave me. I'm sorry. Why weren't you at the cafe? What the hell's going on? Come in. Look. You see? Who is it? It's the police. But you are the police, aren't you? Your husband's still alive, Janet. What? Guy down there's a cop working for Tommy. Or with him, or whatever. Along with the cop that drove me up to the airport. You know, the guy you were talking to at the gendarmerie the other day? Brocard. And God knows how many others. But wasn't Brookhire in the car with you when it crashed? Mm-hmm. But it's my guess that they somehow planned that crash. And, and now? Now they're trying to stop my breathing. But if they want you dead, then why did they let you live? I don't know. Not yet. Listen, I'm sorry if it seemed like I was a bit, you know, in your face the other day at the cafe. Forget it. It's just that, well, I wasn't sure who knew what, you know. I wasn't sure who to trust. But I should have known better about you. Right now, you're about the only person that I can't trust. Other than Stick. I want you to get on a plane and get out of here as soon as you can. What about you? I'm going after Tommy. One guy against all of that. I have to. I have to find out what happened. It's ruining my sleep. Look, why not just leave? Get out and leave them all to it. You're probably gonna end up dead. But you know that, don't you? Well, we all end up dead sooner or later. Mm -hmm. I'd be interested to see what's in here. I bet my bollocks it's not your ex-husband. Well, do you want to have a look? No. Janet? You'd better go. One last request for the condemned man. I want you to go.
si on trouve tous les deux à 30 centimètres, ça fait quoi Un quart d'heure, il y a 5000 sur le coup, tu vois l'histoire Alors, tu vois, un quart d'heure comme ça, c'est ce qu'elle dit la bonne femme C'est ce qu'elle dit la bonne femme He's in there, you man. You got a word with his old boy, the one what drove us to the airport, and the pair of them went inside. I know. Yeah. Ah, but did you know that? Put me through to Gillespie, will you? Hello, sir. Things have just taken a bit of an unexpected turn. Okay. I've no fear, pet. Caution is my middle name.
Salut, c'est Broca. What time are the boys due into Malgiers? Uh, they're due to dock at uh, 10 o'clock. You know, I think we should get the business out of the way and uh, go for a bite to eat, eh? eh? Sample the local cuisine. I mean, if that sounds all right with you, Rob. Yeah, yeah. I think Paul wants a word with you, Tommy. Of course. You have to follow me, Paul. Ah, it's been a busy two weeks, eh? What with one thing and another. Do you have it? Straight to the point, eh, Paul? Eh? You let me down one time already, Tommy. That was a mess. Cost me a lot of problems. Cost me a lot of money. Well, don't you worry, Paul. I'm gonna make up for that right now. And I tell you something else. I don't trust those two guys in the Tice and Canton. You don't? No, I don't. You want my advice? You shouldn't be there. They're planning something. I know it. Oh, my partners, Paul, but... Oh, bear in mind what you said, and I'll keep an eye on it. Thank you very much. There you go, Hello, Paul. That should keep you in cigars for a while, hey?
He's leaving! Hey. What's happened? Hey, tell me. I told you not to get too near, didn't I? Hmm? Hey, lad. I didn't particularly want to be there, you know? So Thornton is alive. <laughs> and they were both English, these other two guys. One of them was. The other was a cockney. I don't suppose you got a look inside that brown paper bag, did you? No, oh, never mind. I've never been around when somebody had done that to somebody. Never actually heard anybody being... getting... Talked like, you know, it was a right job. He's a star pupil, Thornton, all right. And they're planning a meet at ten, you said. Yeah, that's what they said. And what's going on? I don't know. There's only one sure way of finding out. We're gonna need some petrol. You're all clear on what you got to do now. Don't worry. I'll be there on the money. I don't mind telling you. I'm well nervous about all this. The old third eye is giving me 20 to the dozen. Shit, Maggie, son. Damn right. It's not too late to jack all this in, you know. Nobody'd say you'd bottled it. Nobody'd even know. I'd know. You know you're liable to get yourself killed going in there, don't you? Is that what all this is about for you? Eh? Hey, just you remember, kidder. You've got them two lovely bands at home. They're looking forward to seeing you alive. And you owe me 80 quid, remember? All right. Let's do it. Ah oui, tu dis, c'est une case d'urgence. Urgence, il y a un homme et le terminal des véniculaires. Le pétrole, pétrole, il y a pas réel par des explosions. Expl... Oh mon dieu, mon dieu, il va, il va.
I want to know what happened that day. I want to know what happened! Give me that petrol can. Oh, hey, wait a minute, Spencer. Give me that friggin' can! Give me the matches. You can't do that, man. It's inhuman. Watch this. Okay, okay. Just put that thing out, would you? Please. That day, the truck was gonna stop our car. Our boys in the truck would spring Thornton. It was all so very simple until the guy on the bike appeared. What, he was nothing to do with it? Dumb bastard messed everything up. Got himself killed in the crash. So, we had Lats dead and a body we didn't need. So the guy on the bike became Thornton? We put him in the car along with Lats and then set it ablaze. It worked out really well, Callier believed it, and the whole thing was over. Until you started to dig. Spender! Shut it! The cops are making their way down the garden, man. Go on. Thornton wanted to burn you too, but I said no. Why? It was purely practical. Oh. Your dying would have meant a big investigation. More English policemen coming down here asking questions. <laughs> I should have listened to Thornton and burn you too! Where's Thornton now? He has a boat down at the port, the Blue Bell. Peter? Yes, Mr. Thornton? I'm going to get some shut-eye. Work me up when I get to a beaver, OK? Will do, sir. Good night. one of these? Uh, not exactly. But I did six weeks driving a troll on a yacht scheme. Can't be that much difference. No. Let's have a look.
Mr. Thornton, welcome back. Here you are. As requested, shipped ashore. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, ye gods. Here. I owe you this. Get that over here, pronto. Round dog. What about Janet Thornton? She's due back in an hour. I think you should be there. I don't understand. We've just been through all this. That contains my late husband's ashes. I have the relevant paper if you wish to see him. Please. They're in French. That's right. Now, if you roll down. Open it. It's already been through x-ray, sir. Just do it. It's ashes, sir. Empty it. What? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not willing to do that. I hope you realize just what it is that you are about to do here. Well, seems rather heavy. You have the right to remain silent, but I must inform you that anything you do say may be taken down and used in evidence against you. You have the right to inform your solicitor, and you have the right to make one other call. So, tell us about France, Dad. Nothing much to tell, really. 